Hey guys, what are the medicines that you should be keeping in your home? Many persons have asked me this question and in this video I am going to tell you which medicines you should be stocking up in your home's medicine cabinet. I am Dr. Prasoon and this is Dofuri. So let's get started. The first tablet is of course paracetamol. You already know this one. It is commonly used for treating fever, for managing high temperatures. It also has a mild pain relieving action. It comes in dosages of 500 mg, 650 mg and popular brand names are Dolo, Medomol, Fepanil etc. The maximum single dose of this drug is 1 gram and the maximum daily dose of paracetamol is 4 grams. The second medicine that you should be having in your medicine cabinet is ibuprofen. It is also popularly known as brufen. It is a safe medicine which is commonly given for pain relieving action. It also has an antipyretic action that means it can be given for lowering body temperature just like paracetamol. It comes in 200 mg, 400 mg and even 800 mg tablet preparations. The thing to note is that it should be taken only after taking your food. If you are taking this medicine in an empty stomach, you might feel gastritis, acidity and gastric irritation and all those kinds of symptoms. Third medicine is Ceterizin. Ceterizin is a very popular medicine which is given for treating allergic rhinitis. Ceterizin is a very common medicine which is used to treat allergic rhinitis and even urticaria. It comes in 5 mg and 10 mg dosage preparations. And usually it is given at bedtime. One of the most common side effect is sedation that is feeling sleepiness. So don't take these kinds of medicine. It is a second generation antihistamine and it is recommended to take these medicines at night time only. You can take these medicines when you have a cold, a runny nose, itching or any kind of allergic reactions. Cetirizine will be your best companion. The fourth medicine is actually a cough syrup. I have already done a video on cough syrups. There are actually two types of cough syrups. One type of syrup is for dry cough and the other one is for wet cough. You should be watching that video in order to un better understand this concept. This medicine is called Escoril D. The D part in this medicine uh, denotes dextromethorphan which is actually given for dry cough. In case of adults, Escoril D can be taken for dry cough 2 teaspoons 2 or 3 times a day. The fifth medicine is actually a wonder drug. It is a powder and it is called ORS or oral rehydration solution. It comes in a packet. You just have to dissolve it in water and it works like a magic when you have tiredness, weakness, diarrhea, vomiting. It actually prevents dehydration and reverses diarrhea in some cases. The tricky part is that it actually comes in two forms. One is a small packet form which should be dissolved in one glass of water and the last packet should be dissolved in one liter of water that means five glasses of water. So make sure that you have an adequate supply of ORS in your home because it is actually a wonder drug and it actually works like magic when it comes to treating diarrhea and dehydration. So these were the five medicines that you should definitely have in your medicine cabinet in your home. If you have any doubts in using these medicines you can always ask me. The, all these medicines are over the counter preparations. That means you can buy these medicines at your local pharmacy or medical shop without a doctor's prescription. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. It is me, Dr. Prasun, signing off. Take care, stay healthy, and thank you so much for watching.